Hello everyone, my name is Drumat and today we're going to play a ranked game on mid lane against either Rakali or Vayne. Looks like Vayne, but I think I'm going on top because Shen said he's going to pick armor runes because he thought he's against Vayne. So it would make the most sense for me to go against Rakali and him to go against Vayne, wherever that is. I'm playing Talia mid or top for this game, I'm not sure. With Electrocute, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, Presence of Mind, Cup, Grace, and these rune stats. And I already lost two games where I played decently, I could say. I tried Everfrost, but Tanks got the best of me, so I'm thinking to actually try something like Ludens or Lyandris for this game. Mm. Although for this game they do have only one tank and a half, because supports are, while well, they are tanky, they aren't stacking Sunfires. Uh, but I'm thinking to go for something else this game, such as either, as I said, Ludens or Landris. Ludens for the movement speed might work better into their uh, into their comp, and we're gonna see. We're gonna see how that goes out, and we're gonna try our best. So I'm thinking to play with something else than Everfrost, especially since. Oh shit! Okay. I was focusing on talking scared by that. Alright, we're against an Akali which we know is going to melt us post level 6 or even before if she's good. But I suspect, definitely I suspect a good uh, Akali because she has a OTP name so something like Masters or Grandmasters of Diamond Akali right here maybe. And so we're gonna try Okay, that, <laughs> that poke <laughs> is not also on Grandmaster Akali, probably, probably Master or Diamond to be honest. Alright, so for this game we're gonna try to win this lane, we're gonna try to not die, post 6, maybe go for a Verdant Sphere maybe, so that, uh, barrier sorry, so that we, we actually try to, you know, I can just auto attack man. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, Tlia top by the way, professional Tlia top player. I'm expecting now a teleport on this exact cannon. Yeah, god damn it. And I'm abandoning it. Too. <laughs> Let's go, boys! Let's go! <laughs> and oh my god, look at this! Ugh. Ouch! This wave is uh, so much experience for the Akali loss. I'll, okay, what, what do we go for? Regardless of what we play with, I'm going for an amplifying tome and also I'm going for parts of uh, Banshees. So. Magic resist. Okay, so these are the starting items. Regardless. And now we're just gonna go for it. Which alt. Okay. Apparently her ult is back, which was very fast. I did not expect it to be this fast. And I also did not expect to get dive. But I don't know. Now, Hecarim is maybe at Olems because I didn't track him. Okay, he's mid. I can even... Nah, he might have teleported. I'm backing off, I could get... I'm gonna get the plate here. I don't care about her teleporting. Okay. And now we can just recall with a lot of stuff and happiness on Tower Belt. Hecarim failed again. We have lots of tanks. This is going amazing for us. Alright, so shall we try Lyandris or Ludens? I want to try Lyandris to be honest. I want to try Lyandris, but they don't have that many tanks. Uh, Hecarim is 0 2, so we're going for Ludens. We're gonna see how this works. Man, this is free. What is she doing? Okay. That was an interesting move by her, but definitely into. Alright. Normally, sh an Akali should destroy me, but. I don't think on top before 6 Akali has any chances. And I also know that uh, that she definitely has teleport. Yes, just used. 
but I could go here. Okay, go, go, go. Man, is Vayne dealing damage or? <laughs> is Vayne dealing damage? <laughs> what was that? No, 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 back up, back up. We don't. That's just the Akali there. Come on, we can't risk it. But man. Okay, the wave is pushed pretty badly. Uh, and Hecari might be nearby. We also have also almost. Uh, Ludens, okay, it's good, she pushes. She's fine. So we're two levels ahead. I'm thinking Tulia top might actually be good if you go land this into tanks <laughs> compared to mid or bot. Flash, but it's okay what he did. It's very okay what he did because uh, it could have been way worse. And also, he will have, he will have a uh, hot go to my teammates there. And it's all for my advantage. Shen is pretty much a support this game anyway, so it's fine. I could have hit the combo, but Vayne flashed anyway, so nothing to do there. Nothing that I have no idea. If she would catch me, but we see her that so if she would catch me, we would probably not win it. Going towards top and going towards mid. Okay, so what next item could we go for? We go. We could go for Rabanos for a lot of wards. We could go for Oblivion Orb because, uh, yeah, he's uh, he's restoring a lot of heals. So that would be a start. He's not yet tanky and their comp is not that tanky anyway, so I think that That's what I wanted. Just to pull off that. can get how many of those they want. I don't think that makes any difference if... Uh, however, if Vayne catches you there, you're gonna have a problem, buddy. I don't think we have any chance of catching her. We can't do more than this, we can't go anywhere because uh, Nautilus and Shen go to went there, come on, stay, stick to mid. Shen is fine for bot. It is. I could go Banshee's Veil, but I don't think that's the necessary thing. I could go Demonic Embrace, go Void Stuff, Sorceress shows the first start, Oblivion Orb is secondary close, and uh, go for a stopwatch we're going to see what's next but two vision works for right now okay this is a free mid kill this is a free mid kill i don't know why oh okay okay and we get also boost. that's a 
that that was a very nice Nautilus assault, and I went hyper aggressive after that one because I knew we got the kill, we could just scale it up from there. We got another kill and another kill. That's how mistakes happen. That's how games end. Someone getting caught will ruin your entire stuff. So Akali is zero five and five zero with seven more assists, and we also break the base here. It's very important. I wouldn't go for the inhibitor at this point. It's way too fast. No, 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 no. We don't. No, no, no. Why give free gold? That's a lot of free gold that you don't have. You don't need to pass. Come on, Drake, 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 Drake. I want to do my full combo. Oh, okay. Hopefully there is not a hacker in that. Okay, we can't. We can't start it. We can't start it because they chase us. Okay, that's nice. Got the Blitzcrank on the behind. Going for the Misfortune, need to back off because of base. Because of this exhaust. And now I'm backing off in. I'm coming back to get here. I like the fact that they want to give me... Give me that. Now I could just probably chase Misfortune. They are fine now. They will, even if Akali comes. I went for their backline because four versus three theoretically my two tanks should deal with should deal with Vayne and Akali. I mean, and also Ekarim. I was sure that two tanks would beat them, and perhaps we could just. I know, I know, uh, Akali has there a division ward, so I'm trying to trying to get away here. She exhausted. Me. Very important. Okay, so I played it safe, she flashed as well. Played to my strengths, if someone comes I'm gonna ult. I knew I could die. You've seen, you've seen how much damage she deals with Eclipse. And so I didn't want to take that many risks. So that's how I, that's why I played it like this, over defensively. Now I'm going for that cap, because I have uh, I have to stack. I can sell this because, uh, well, I don't think Akali will trigger, will try to go for me anymore because she is probably scared of getting gutted. But I do have both me and Sejuani. We do have. Look at look at the bounties. We do have huge bounties. We have a thousand and four hundred gold on both of us. And now we could start thinking about opening up the Baron. And GLP could have also whatever crossed. I mean, in this context, but I believe, uh, I believe. Uh, for that fight with Misfortune, for example, it would have been flashed. And so, we have to be careful around this. Okay, they have a vision right there. I'd say we keep doing it, to be honest. I'd say we keep doing it and spite fight it, because we have... We don't have a damage, actually, it's 50-50. Okay, it's fine, we run it. Akali missed her combo. Backing off from Akali, going back in, getting the vein, and voting for Akali. Nice. I misplayed because Akali should have killed me there. I really misplayed that. But yeah, that was the game, guys. <sighs> Top to Leah for today. Thought it's me, but apparently I had to stop. But look at it, look at the swap from a better perspective. Shen had armor runes, he said he specifically picks armor runes to be against the top pain, which he thought that is. In champ select you don't really know. And I went for magic resist, so I didn't go against Vayne and he didn't go against Akali. Akali would have probably beat him in that context. But now with two armor runes, you've seen, Vayne barely did any damage in the mid game to him. I didn't lose my bounty, I played nearly perfect. And that was the game. I'm at 85 LP in Grandmaster, I've won one game today and lost to others. Uh, one of those that I lost, I was 11-2 on bot lane, I almost, well, didn't carry it, that's the problem. I went for Everfrost, but when I'm fed, I'm thinking that I should go for something else. If you look on OPGG, I'm actually second in damage, guess towards whom? Misfortune was first, and you've seen it, you've seen how much damage she deals in that one versus one, even though she's 2-5. She almost killed me 1 versus 1 full HP against full HP with a flash, with flashing my combo, and I expect her to flash my combo. And 
even if I play with Everfrost, you would have flashed the Everfrost. So in this context, Ludens was actually better than Everfrost. So I'm giving you examples, guys. This is a Ludens Tempest example on how to win in Tlontalia. I want also to do Lyandris in context that they had, let's say, a Malphite. Lyandris would have worked. But then again, their Hecarim didn't have time to scale. So in this game, Ludens is the better choice. You have to do a constant dance of understanding which rune is actually which uh, item is actually the best for you in the context of the game you either go for uh lever frost ludens or landris on both you can go even for the harvest one i'm really not remembering the name but this is what you gotta do to actually climb you gotta play to your strength you gotta understand uh you gotta understand which item to pick and let's just increase all the tilia's play rate because on opgg she's gone into statistics she's not there i suppose uh i suppose we can make her can make her better i'm jumat and i really hope you enjoyed this game guys and see you next time uh, hopefully this week as well another video later on maybe a pantheon one i'm not sure but i really enjoy making these kind of videos to be informative also i spent about 30 to 45 minutes in queue which i kind of hate already because either they dodge and until i started today my first two games i wait 45 minutes i lost an hour and a half for one game something like that so it's kind of uh, but we'll see hopefully more ranked games to come this was in grandmaster so i'm trying to do that see you next time games uh, guys <laughs> see you next time guys and have a wonderful week goodbye